Hello all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be talking about on behalf of token grant flow. Now, just imagine you have a scenario where a resource provider one has access to some resource provider two, which is not exposed externally onto the internet or you're not pinging directly. Uh, an example of this would be, say you have a CRM, which is going to fetch some email data from your Outlook or Office 365 account or your Office 365 will fetch certain data from your SharePoint APIs. Now you're not directly interacting with SharePoint, but your Office 365 application is interacting with SharePoint. Now in this case, what would happen is you would go to a browser and you'd say, hey, I want to access a resource provider. This resource provider is, re receives this request and the resource provider is going to send a request to identity provider saying, hey, I want to access this resource provider too. Uh, this is my client ID and this is my secret. And it would also send the scope that it needs to access. Now, based on its permissions that were already granted, the resource provider gets the access token. Using the access token that was already, uh, re that is already received to resource provider one, it sends a request to resource provider two. Now, if this particular token is valid and it's, it's not above its expiry time, the resource provider two sends data to resource provider one and the resource provider one consumes this data and processes and does, does a whole lot of stuff uh, according to its business use case and is going to return data to the browser or the native application. This is typically uh, extrapolation of client credential flow, but it is highly uh, seen in a corporate environment where there are multiple resource providers where uh, for example, you, you see Outlook as, or, you know, you have Outlook, you have SharePoint, you have Office, you have uh, XYZ service, right? But all you see is Office 365. If you go to office.com, you see uh, every data, every piece of data from all of these things. So in a way, these type of applications are available in every place. So this application flow is, my, is something that you might not see on a daily basis, but it is highly relevant from a corporate or enterprise standpoint.